343 Industries just did a live stream revealing Forge for the first time in Halo Infinite, officially. Although we've seen most of the features in this video, we do know that there are some improvements coming, including nav meshes, which is going to support bots and AI in our Forge maps. We also do have evidence that good Forge maps are going to be placed into Halo Infinite's matchmaking. But what really took me aback during this 20 minute video was that 343 has Forge Council members making unseen maps behind the scenes, including this one, and it is breathtaking. This map looks like it was made by the actual Slipspace Engine dev tools. It is amazing, and I'm sure that this map, as well as many others, are coming to matchmaking, just like the other ones that we saw the other day. Sketch said on Twitter, Yes, the Forge beta will release on November 8th as part of the winter update. Once launched, it'll stay alive forever, evolving over time. This is not a limited time beta or an insider flight. It's Forge for all. We will all have access to this version of Forge, hopefully a little bit better on time. We can all hope anyway. 343 did mention that there is this little UI menu that pops up that they are going to expand upon later, but these are really useful functions and possibilities that will be adding to the value of Forge and its creative possibilities. In addition, they showed this menu, which shows that we can build the lighting as well as nav meshes, audio, and reflection volumes. And these are all critical for making the maps look like actual dev maps. I think this is where a lot of the magic comes in. People are really being tested right now. We don't know whether we should be excited for this game or worried about this game, and I think both are appropriate. However, I want to say it's not black and white. Obviously, Forge is amazing. There's this cool feature called flattening where essentially you can scale in any direction. So if you like a certain model's textures, you can just flatten that into a 2D plane of sorts and slap that onto other flat models. So you have the textures there. We also see that scaling is massive. We have this look at the space canvas. We know that there's several coming, including this kind of flat alpine look. We also have this wetlands map. We have this, uh, you know, desert map coming, I think, and a blank canvas coming, which is this beautiful skybox that reminds me of Halo 3's sandbox. So my gosh, is there so much to look forward to, but is it enough? For I think it is super important for 343 to launch this custom games browser alongside with Forge in the winter update on November 8th, because if that doesn't happen, a lot of this Forge momentum is going to wean and die off. I don't think forever, but it's really going to stifle the innovation, the momentum that is happening right now within the community. And if Forge doesn't launch in a workable state, then I think we are in major trouble, guys, for the future of this game. They also posted this article where they kind of recap what Forge is, but the juicy information is that they have a four-part video series coming. Part one we just saw today, building, and then part two is scripting and bots. What is scripting? How can I use it? How can I use it to test my map with bots? Lighting and audio. What is lighting, art, and audio tools, and how's that all going to work in Forge? Part four, file sharing and canvases. Where can I build my maps and how can people discover them? So hopefully in part four, we learn that file share is coming in the winter update so that we can at least share each other's maps and at least have some access to, you know, not use a third party site to download Forge maps because that would suck. I recently made a stream where I talked about this in detail, which you can watch is about two hours long, but ultimately things like No Man's Sky and Star Wars Battlefront 2 have made comebacks in the past. So I think Halo Infinite has enough going for it where I think long term it definitely can revive. But how long will that be? When will we get a full explanation of what is going on with this game? And will it be enough by that point to bring in a major audience like maybe even Halo 5 did, right? But, you know, based on the current track record, I do worry if it's actually going to launch on time. I worry if it's going to look right and feel right and not be super buggy because we do know it is launching in beta. If you guys enjoy the content, smash that like button blue and subscribe. Join me on the great journey of following Halo and I'll see you soon. Peace.